Welcome to World Transits Today. I'm Art Granoff. August 30, 2022. Let's start today with a bunch of ongoing transits continuing into September. Then, new transits this week. Saturn square Uranus, the old versus new. Check last week's show for the full treatment. Let's start with Jupiter conjunct Neptune through March 2023. I'll take the big melt, please. The ongoing wonderful transit. Jupiter expands while Neptune softens. Jupiter's the larger view, with Neptune the numinous or transcendent. Add them up. With Neptune, consciousness may be flowing, with Jupiter increasing. There's an opening, an invitation for luxurious awareness. The road's open. Where are you going? Or conversely, if spirit is lost or missing, a visit to the bar will probably do it. Uranus trine Pluto, just starting. Autonomy with trouble through 2032. Uranus BPM4 is a sudden switch or turnaround, opening a situation or a mind, and in this case, a door to Pluto, the principle of jeopardy, hazard, or peril. Pluto BPM3 represents the death-rebirth experience, shattering existing ideas, mental attitudes, life as we know it, leading to our personal phoenix rising. With Pluto, ego gets smashed or annihilated, accelerating suffering until deep insights turn us over, changing the game. The trine is two planets angled at 120 degrees, both in the same element. Uranus in Taurus, Pluto in Capricorn. They're friendly. Uranus trine Pluto relates to freedom with danger. Think of the French Revolution, liberty and fraternity with lots of heads chopped off. Think the 1960s. Huge changes with long hair for men, the birth control pill leading to the sexual revolution, pot and acid, the screaming electric guitar. Also the brutal fight for civil rights, bloody riots in US cities, and of course, the long nightmare of Vietnam. Here we are today in similar circumstances. We're opening to spiritual practice freeing our minds with the return of psychedelics, with the world situation pretty intense, the U.S. accelerating tensions with Russia and China. I'll be watching this 10-year transit, and with careful notes in your journal, I hope you will be too. Also, continuing transits from August for complete August 22 transit details. Check the past World Transits Today shows. August 30th, Sun Square Mars till September 18th, a six week transit, direct action. Let's add Mercury from mid August. Mercury trine Mars for a month, organized and ready for action. Mercury opposite Jupiter till mid October a two-month transit, the expanded mind, learning new stuff, or overdoing it. Also, Mercury trine Pluto, ending in mid-October, digging deep under the surface, wide reading, expressing rich communications with profound subjects, psychedelics, archetypal astrology. Then mid-month, we get Sun opposite Jupiter and Sun trine Pluto. Here are some new September 2022 transits from the other day, August 27th. Sun conjunct Venus till Christmas, a four month transit. The Sun's my personality, my character, commonly known as I. Venus is a personal lift, sensuality opening to the heart with a wonderful person or through the arts. Venus seeking delight in a social situation, friendly, 
focused on beauty that may lead to romance. Shadow Venus is too personal with indiscriminate tenderness or smothering. September 1st, Sun trying Uranus till September 20th. Of course, the Sun is my identity, and Uranus opens a door to freedom. Sun Uranus, a ticket to ride towards a personal breakthrough. Which windows need cleaning? Which openings may I walk through? What's ready for change? Good questions to ask now. What is Sun Uranus? Lots of freedom with the downside being too loose, unconcerned, or finding it tough to cooperate. Everything needs to be my way. Let's bring in Bob Dylan, Sun Conjunct Uranus. Talk about identifying with the new. Here's his chart with Sun Conjunct Uranus. Also, his Uranus Jupiter conjunction is in between the new moon. What's fresh? His songs, obviously, in between sun and moon bread. He's got Saturn conjunct Uranus, too. He's Mr. New versus Old. Good combinations for his profession. Also notice Mercury square Neptune. His mind is full of imagination. Also, he knows how to work. Sun conjunct Saturn and sun square Mars. From Wikipedia. Robert Allen Zimmerman, born May 1941, is an American singer-songwriter, often regarded as one of the greatest songwriters of all time. Dylan has been a major figure in popular culture during a career spanning more than 60 years. Much of his most celebrated work dates from the 1960s, when songs such as Blowing in the Wind, 1963, and the times they are changing, 1964, became anthems for the civil rights and anti-war movement. And here he is in 1963 with Joan Baez. In 1965 and 1966, Dylan premiered his electric band and in the space of 15 months, recorded three of the most important and influential rock albums of the 60s. May I recommend bringing it all back home? Highway 61 and Blonde on Blonde. His six minute single, Like a Rolling Stone in 1965, expanded commercial and creative boundaries in popular music. Bob Dylan has published eight books of drawings and paintings with his work exhibited in major galleries. He has sold more than 125 million records, making him one of the best-selling musicians of all time. In May 2012, he received the Presidential Medal of Freedom, in addition to his 10 Grammy Awards, a Golden Globe Award, and an Academy Award. Dylan has been inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, the Nashville Songwriters Hall of Fame, and the Songwriters Hall of Fame. The Pulitzer Prize Board in 2008 awarded him a special citation for his profound impact on popular music in American culture. Marked by the lyrical compositions of extraordinary poetic power, in 2016, Dylan was awarded the Nobel Prize in Literature for having created new poetic expressions within the great American song tradition. Talk about Sun Conjunct Uranus. What have you got? September 2nd, Sun opposite Neptune through the end of the month, a one-month transit. What is Sun Neptune? The dreamer, one with vivid imagination, identifying with what's ultimate, unitive, or timeless. Identifying with imagination, Last week, hanging out with my brother in Southern California, watching the night sky, perceiving stars as objects, thinking, is this the source of imagination? Neptune is melted consciousness, ease, delight, also illusion, what seems like such a good idea at the time. Bob Dylan, sunshine Neptune, hey. 
His focus on rock and roll gave way to American folk music, as he explained in a 1985 interview. The thing about rock and roll is that for me, anyway, it wasn't enough. There were great catchphrases and driving pulse rhythms, but the songs weren't serious or didn't reflect life in a realistic way. I knew that when I got into folk music. It was more of a serious type of thing. The songs are filled with more despair, more sadness, more triumph, more faith in the supernatural, much deeper feelings. His original songs and times played live, get this. Don't think twice, it's all right. From 1962 until 2019, he played it 1,086 times. Blowing in the Wind played 1,585 times. It Ain't Me, Babe, from 1964 to 2019, 1,070 times. He played Mr. Tambourine Man, 963 times. And Like a Rolling Stone, from 1965 to 2019, played 2,075 times. Talk about imagination. Thank you again, Bob Dylan. Also, Labor Day, September 5th, 2022, Sunshine Uranus, Sun opposite Neptune. Thanks for joining me on World Transits today, everybody. Rocking through the ongoing transits, plus the new Sun transits with Uranus and Neptune. Watch World Transits at my site, Reference Astrology. Hear the audio version at Apple Podcasts. Contact me directly at Reference Astrology for a birth chart and transit reading, where we explore the planetary archetypes. Place them on your chart, revealing your personal transits to see what's up for you.